What's up guys, and today I'm going to show you guys how to design like Ditch. So basically Ditch is a pretty popular clothing brand out right now, and they have these designs where they're pretty much just like a one color graphic design, so they're pretty popular and I'm going to teach you guys how you guys can design them for your own brand. Specifically, we're going to be going with this. I'm going to be showing you guys how to design this, and I'm just going to be basically redesigning it. So. So to start out, we're going to be basically using this little cliff with like a, like a, like kind of castle on it. It basically, I got it from this because they have it in like the ditch design. I really like this. So we're just going to go with this. Then I took a, another image of a cliff. Yes, there are two different colors, but it really doesn't matter. But what I'm basically doing here is just using the um, eraser tool and just kind of blending it just so, you know, it looks a little bit better. And the reason why I say it doesn't matter is because we're actually going to be using a threshold. So it's just going to blend it all together anyways. Now what I'm going to be doing is putting a moon here. Um, in the dish design, it seems like they have a moon. I kind of liked it, so we're just going to play around with this. I got this image from Google. Um, you can find one on Google too. Now what I'm going to do is go to a mask. And I'm just going to like kind of you know mask out where it's like touching or really close to the building just because um you want it to like kind of have a better composition so to do this you are i'm just gonna like take away the parts that are like almost touching the um building because one it just looks better and two adds a lot more depth to the actual design so Now that we have that done, I'm uh, gonna bring up here this uh, like a circle. I'm basically just gonna bring this up, you know, um, in the actual ditch design themselves, they have like this like cool little uh, like gradient sphere. So basically what I'm gonna do is just take a uh, eraser with um, low opacity. Uh, let me just make this bigger here. And I'm just gonna basically erase it out. Now it's gonna look rough right now, but this is before we put all of the effects. But basically, this is how I'm gonna do this. You can do this. It makes it like add a cool little effect of like uh, uh, like an orb kinda is what I took from it. And now we're just gonna throw this threshold on here. Uh, it already looks a lot better already. This isn't what we're gonna do, but we're just gonna add a pattern just to like finish it off and. I'm going to create it as a normal and then I'm going to put it on an overlay so basically it just uh, basically covers everything and only everything like uh, except for the background and stuff and this way you get this really really cool little like dithering effect and it's all like in real time so now I got this like glyph thing off of Google as you can see in this design it kind of like covers around it this is like the closest I could find so for like the sake of the video we're just going to use this and I'm basically just gonna uh, take all the black off by using the magic eraser and then I actually inverted it so um, you know it'd be white and actually look good with the design since the designs on a black background what I'm doing here is just shaping it to around it uh, to like basically be around the orb like how in the picture but uh, it's not perfect so I'm basically just gonna like warp it by using command and then clicking those little squares and you can just kind of change it however you feel and now what i'm going to do is apply a layer mask onto here and then just turn up the opacity and just paint out all the things that i don't want honestly looking back at it that was a really cool like little effect here but for the sake of the design we're just gonna get rid of all this and then there's only really one line of text or like glyph around it. So we're just going to erase all these little extra, just, you know, make it more authentic. And now I got another cliff here from Google. Um, honestly, it really doesn't matter because it just looks good regardless because of the threshold and the pattern. But I'm just going to paint out some details here just to get rid of that so I can place some other objects here. And now you see me kind of just bring these swords up here. I just got these images off of Google. Just I just looked up sword and then I did a little like hanging effect with uh, just a paintbrush. So it made a really, really nice effect. 
And then I got this guy off Google, this um, kind of like Grim Reaper looking dude. Yeah, he's a little dark right now, but in the actual ditch design, like the main subject is like kind of like in a negative space. So we're just going to paint around him like a white background just so he pops out a little bit more. Uh, I'll show you guys how to like make this less harsh in the, like uh, later on. So we're just basically going to paint out around it. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can kind of just do as you please because we're going to erase it uh, later. And now I'm just going to uh, adjust the image brightness and contrast on here because I actually like doing it on here besides without like uh, putting an actual adjustment layer because it just one it makes it way easier. And now we're just going to paint out some details that we don't want on here. I'm going to turn the opacity down just to get this like really cool dithering effect. You know, it makes it look a lot better in my opinion. And you can kind of take up or take out a little bit at a time just to, you know, see what works and stuff. As you see here, I'm just gonna erase this little white part here because did not need that. I'm gonna make this guy a little bit bigger. Oops, did not need to do that. I'm gonna make the uh, guy a little bit bigger just so he pops out a little bit more because he is the main subject. And I was playing around with like the horizontal stuff. Always play around with it, you know, see what looks good and stuff. You can play around with different angles and stuff. I got this like, war torn battlefield off of adobe stock as you can kind of see here i don't really show it too well in here but it's kind of just gonna give us this effect of like kind of like a negative shadow on like the actual like uh design itself it kind of gives it like a cool little like uh like effect kind of i'll show you here in a second but basically what i'm doing is um i'm basically just deleting all of the white by putting on a threshold layer so it just turns it black and white basically so we can just uh use that contrast to like mark out the negative space or the positive space so it kind of just gives the design a little bit more like uh depth and stuff and then we're going to go into the blending options here and just throw on a color overlay just because just to uh, make the whole thing like uh just black and then I was playing around with it, but I feel that it's too big here, so I just made it smaller and threw it on the other side because it matches the swords that are already coming out of the cliff. And now basically what I'm going to do here is just mask out some of this uh, actual cliff here that I feel like we didn't really need. I'm going to do something with that later on, so... Now I'm creating a new layer here to actually paint in some details. So I just threw on a, uh, just a color, the, the paintbrush tool with like a low opacity. And basically what this, like what this does, it just adds like this really cool, like detail effect. Like I'm just painting in all this negative space by just kind of lightly tapping and you know, it obviously like uh, play around with it, but it gives you this really cool little like dither effect and just just adds a cool little touch for like all the negative space areas just to fill in some space and like i said this is all live so um you can just do as you please and edit as you want and i feel like something could come up here like something uh, could be up around here so i'm gonna try and do some clouds i thought that was pretty cool give the design some more depth you know some visual appeal now you can play with this as much as you want you don't have to do it as complex as me but for the sake of the video i'm just gonna do something cool with it now i would advise to not completely copy ditches style and to really go and get your own because that is what's really going to separate your brand apart but I'm just gonna put like a picture of these ruins. I also inverted it again just to make it white. But I'll show you here. I'm just gonna resize it in order to fit the thing, or to fit like this little like orb, kinda. And then I'm just gonna take the black background and just delete it. And then what I'm gonna do here is just mask it out by using the 
eraser tool just to you know give it some cool little effects i'm just tapping the button i'm not even really you know doing too much with it but i'm gonna resize it just because it's like just looks a little weird right now but yeah that looks better And now what I'm going to do here is just paint in some more of those details again, just kind of how I please. Um, you know, it really makes the design really pop out to how you how you want it to be. So, And this way you get like a really cool effect here. Like it, on a, it almost looks like something is in the background, you know, it just gives that really cool layering effect. Now I'm going to try and find a font here. I actually didn't end up finding a font that I like that really matched ditch style. So I'm going to show you my process of looking at that, looking for a font on defont.com. Now for these fonts on defont.com, uh, defont uh, you basically want to use one that's commercial rights for free. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay for it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just using a random font just to show you guys how to actually like, you know, come up with like something like Ditch's name or something or like that cool little effect that they have going on which I'll show you here soon but yeah I had this like cool like this cool gothic looking font I couldn't find it in the gothic looking font so I actually went to the horror section and lucky enough I actually found a pretty cool little font that I uh, ended up using for this so the font that I actually came up with or the decided to use was Nightside it has this really cool little effect here and I saw kind of a nice little vision with it. Now this font is personal use only, but for the sake of this video, of course, we're just gonna uh, use it anyways. Now that space is gonna be for the cross as the T. I don't know why I put the T here, but I was being a dumb, being kind of dumb. So we're just gonna make this white and then I'm actually gonna delete this T here because we're, we're gonna change that T to a cross like how in the actual ditch design is and their logo. Now, I was deciding which one I wanted, so I decided to go with this bulge and then just inverting it to give it this cool little, like, stretched. And then I did the vertical uh, distortion to give it, like, more depth as well. It basically, it gives you, it really looked like a ditch, like their logo, in my opinion, without directly copying it. So now what we're going to do is just remove this T, and then I'm going to search on Google for a, like, gothic kind of cross. Now, this one that I did use, you're gonna have to pay for, but for the sake of this video, of course, we're just gonna get it for free, and we're just gonna use it. Always, always make sure your assets are free to avoid any legal trouble, of course. We're just gonna throw a color overlay on real quick and then change that white. As you can see, it's already coming together. Looks super cool already. I'm just gonna center that. And then I'm gonna size down the cross a little bit, but I do like how the cross is a little bit bigger than the text itself because it just gives it that depth again, once again. And then what I'm gonna do here is just uh, take this after I rasterize the, the font and then just move it around to my liking. I'm also gonna uh, resize it because it was just looked like, it just looked a little off. So now there we go, that looks a lot better. And then for the background of this, you see how there's like some white, it's kind of like making it hard to see the logo. So I'm just basically gonna mask that out by uh, taking the paintbrush tool and then painting in a, a black behind it. As we do here, that way you can really see the logo a lot more. Now I did notice this like black thing, which I totally forgot to take out. So we're just gonna erase that real quick. But yeah, this is pretty much the final design and that's how you uh, make a ditch design, ditch inspired design for your clothing brand. 
And there you guys have it. Now you guys know how to design a one color screen print like ditch for your own clothing brand. If you guys did enjoy this video, please subscribe and like for more content and even comment down below of brands that you want to see me recreate. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.